I'm here with Grace from the channel Texan in Tokyo. You should check her out if you don't already know who she is. We are friends and have done videos, <laughs> so videos. before. Today, I have a list of five English words that you probably don't know actually were originally Japanese. The first word I know you know okay. because you've been talking about it a lot and Ryosuke has talked about it a lot. Okay. So, all right. This is the word rickshaw. Rickshaw. Like, have you ever thought about where the word rickshaw came oh from? Oh my goodness. I've been saying like <laughs> Jin Diksha and then rickshaw the whole time and I didn't realize <laughs> My husband is recently looking to get a part-time job being a Jin Riksha or a rickshaw driver because that was his dream when he was a kid. And so we've been talking about rickshaws this whole time and like... <laughs> oh my goodness. You learned something new today! What is happening in my life? Okay, so the Japanese word is Jin Nikisha, which comes from the kanji for person for what Jin. And then the kanji for like power or strength mm -hmm. for Riki. And then Sha is the kanji for automobile or like vehicle. It's literally like a man powered vehicle. That's the word in Japanese. And we just got rid of Jean and then switched Dikisha to Rickshaw. Rickshaw. Because Rickshaw. America. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Number two. Did you know the word tycoon comes from Japan? Really? Like roller coaster tycoon. Yeah. Like the business magnate? Yeah. Yeah, tycoon is a Japanese word. Really? It's the kanji for big, like oh, die. Yeah. And then the kanji for like kimi, which can just mean like a lord. Yeah. So it actually means like great lord. Wow. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. You were so surprised. Wow. Yeah. So roller coaster tycoon. It was actually tycoon. roller coaster great lord. Great lord power. Not, not really. The next one is a very, very common Japanese word, and it's actually a really common English word too. This won't be surprising as soon as you hear it. Okay. So it's the word futon. Futon. Oh yeah, okay. No, that so, one definitely makes sense. That one definitely makes sense. That one doesn't surprise me. They're actually slightly different in Japanese and in English. In Japanese, well, it's futon. A futon in Japanese is like a, a bedding, or if you don't sleep on the floor with like the whole thick bedding mattresses, in common usage on a normal bed, it's actually like a really thick blanket, like a duvet. For our Japanese viewers who don't know, a futon in English is like a type of um, really thin, foldable, like unfoldable couch kind yeah. of thing. Like you can unfold it and make it into a bed. It's like like a big couch that comes out. Yeah. When I've gone home to America and I've told my family, like, oh yeah, we just use a futon to sleep under at night. Yeah. It, it's really warm. My family's been like, you sleep under, under a futon? Uh, like, what is that? Number four. This was actually the one I was most surprised by. Mm -hmm. You probably haven't heard of it unless you are allergic to poison ivy. Are you allergic to poison ivy? I am, ivy? actually. Okay, well, if you are allergic to poison ivy and you have had it in the past like 15 years and you've had internet, you've probably looked up on the internet like, what the heck am I supposed to do with this poison ivy? And like, just kind of like Wikipedia, like poison yeah. ivy stuff, which means you've that. probably read this word a lot, which is the word urushio. So I've seen this word like so many times over the past 15 years, like searching on the internet. And then I found out it was actually a Japanese word and I was like, Really? Huh. It came from Japan? Like, do they even have poison ivy in Japan? Do they? Um, I don't know. Actually, maybe they do, maybe they don't. But the word urushi mm -hmm. is actually, it means like lacquer in Japanese. Oh. Or it can be like the sap of a certain kind of tree, mm -hmm. I think, here. And then ol is apparently like a scientific ending that we put on it in English huh. to make the word urushio, which is the oil that comes from poison ivy plant, poison sumac, poison oh, oak that it's gives the oil you the rash. Yeah, it's, it's, the, really it's the word for the oil that yeah. gives you a big rash huh. and breaks you out. That makes sense. Yes. I can I can believe that. Yes. I'm extremely allergic to poison ivy, so it's very it's a horrible thing to have when you get it. You're like so itchy. It's so itchy. I remember when I was a kid and like oh yeah. One of my eyes was completely shut. Uh. Was like, I was like, Somebody <laughs> loved me. <laughs> and number five, and I'm not sure how many people have heard of this word or if they're teaching this in school these days, because back when I was in school, we were taught the map of the tongue, the diagram of the tongue, and we were taught that there are four different types of 
flavors you can taste, like yes. sour, sweet, bitter. Yeah, and I definitely remember learning that. Sour, sweet, bitter. And the fourth one, <laughs> we all know, but we and don't even have to one. say it because we all know it's it. so obvious. So like, obvious. we don't even need to say it. Yeah, yeah. we're just like insulting your intelligence. <laughs> and apparently, like nowadays, there's considered to be a fifth one, mm -hmm. which is umami. 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 And since I didn't grow up like with people telling me this taste is umami, I have no idea what it's supposed to taste like. Huh? It technically means like good taste or like, like umai, like pleasant flavor. That was interesting. Yeah, I didn't know a lot of those actually. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, for learning these new words with me. Thank you for so. sharing your knowledge. Yay, <laughs> knowledge! All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll thanks see you for later. Watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Great. Freak shop. Rickshaw. Rickshaw comes from Japanese. We found out we have a ton in common, especially when it comes to being married to Japanese guys. Yeah. So we're gonna